And I'll just uh, conclude that point with a cut, the next slide, which is the virtues of the aged. There are many ways in which society would be happier and better off uh, if it was older. Older people are far less violent than younger people. The majority of violence is correlated with the proportion of a population that is male between the ages of 15 and 25. So the, short, the smaller that proportion of the population, the less violence you're going to have. Uh, older people tend to give more to charity. Um, they tend to uh, grow. Now, this is uh, counterintuitive because in most of our societies, older people have less education than younger people. And education has a powerful impact on social values. But when you control for the amount of education that older people and younger people have, older people are more egalitarian and more tolerant as they age in general. And finally, uh, older people have more life experience and are more grateful for what they have, which relates to the eudaimonia point. Okay, um, now, some of the political consequences. I think uh, it's very clear that um, the amount of life expectancy that you have in almost every country is correlated with your place within the class structure of your society higher income, wealthier people have longer life expectancies than poorer people. No surprise there. The amount of equality within your country is also a correlate of longevity across countries. So more equal countries, uh, as we just saw, Eastern uh, Northern European countries in, in particular, tend to be more long lived. Japan is more long lived than a less equal country, for instance. Um, and so, on both the equality within countries and the equality across countries is important for improving longevity. Um, and for anti-aging therapies to have an impact eventually on life expectancy, they have to be universally available. So it can't be that we <clears throat> introduce an anti-aging therapy and it's only accessible for the 1%, it's too expensive for everybody else, that won't have an impact on life expectancy of a population. So and for this to actually move the needle and be considered a good public investment, it has to be accessible eventually to everyone. 